Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Sunshine Tarot Vibration Channel. This reading is for the Taurus sign. Um, this is a love romantic relationship reading for you guys. This is a weekly, sorry, weekend bonus for you. For the Taurus sign, this is, um, I plan to upload um, two to three times video of weekend, weekend midweek love bonus reading. So watch out for that. So this weekend love bonus reading is for the Taurus sign. This is um, this is my channel because um, someone told me that someone is copying my video. So I will be mentioning the name of my channel. This is Sun Sunshine Tarot Vibration. So this is for this is for the Taurus sign. Thank you guys for your love, for your support, for your like, and welcome to those new subscribers. And thank you for those previous team members in my channel thank you for being here thank you for tuning in thank you for supporting this is for you guys this is for your love romantic relationship reading not all of you not all of you will will be able to get a message from today if it doesn't check back after three days or you know um check out our youtube reader online they i'm pretty sure they will offer something for you this is for taurus sign taurus please give us the best message important message for taurus sign for the weekend bonus love romantic reading for taurus signs today is saturday 19th of january here in new zealand so this is i'm channeling and getting energy of the weekend 19 20 21 all right so this is for you taurus okay five of cups in reverse this is forgiving this is getting over with Although it's not yet very clear, but you're getting there. You've got, um, all right, someone is not going to move. Someone couldn't move on. Someone is going back. It's not practical, but they want to go back, all right? It's not balanced, but it needs some reward, all right? That's the energy I'm getting. So let's start your reading. So I felt like for your recent past, you've got the, the Five of Cups in reverse, which is forgiving, all right? This is your first two cards. This is your recent past. <clears throat> this is your past. This is your recent past. Um, this is, you know, this, this is what's behind. So five of cups in reverse. This is good. I like this one when this is in reverse because someone is ready to forgive. Someone is getting over something. This is this is good energy, in short, five of cups. Um, but it isn't completely healed because the, the moon is in here. It might be dealing with the Pisces. So it's just about getting out of that depression, sadness, or it's about to, to forgive, but there's still a little bit of 10%, um, you know, unsure of what's going to happen. Like for some of you, okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to forgive. I don't know what's next. Something of that energy. Because the moon, if it's in upright position, it's you're not clear. You're not clear where you're heading or something. It's... it's because the moon in, in, in the moon card depicts um, this is you use the moon as your light. Uh, you use the moon light, light to like guide you. You know the moon is a bit darker versus the sun card. So it's not it's not very clear. So if you if you go if it's like it's like traveling at night, you could see the direction but it's not very clear and that's what's the energy of these two cards you know which is behind recent past is describing is that you are forgiving you've decided to forgive someone is forgiving someone is getting over with some pain or grief or healing someone is taking the path of healing but there's a part of 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 that someone's you know heart personality or feelings that they're still not sure for some of you i felt like all right i'm gonna forgive i'm, I'm gonna forget i'm gonna take my to take myself out of this depression anxiety um sadness um but what to do next all right so but this is still good in the sense that um you wanna you wanna move out from that darkness it's still you know the moon the moon um you know, when there's a moon, it's still a bit dark, but you could still, you could see direction. So this is what the two cards describe is that you're willing to go out now from that grief, from that pain. You're willing to forgive, to take yourself out from this dark moment, but you're still there. Part of you is still blurry, but you are moving on to something brighter. All right. Because after the moon, you know, 
next day is the sun. So this is what the energy is, is that you haven't, you have stepped out already, but not completely there. But pretty much, you know, as we move forward, because it's a process, you will be able to reach from the moon to the sun. I hope it makes sense. But yeah, this is, you know, this is not having clarity yet, but along uh, with the combination of five of cups in reverse, this is a good energy in the sense you're getting over with something that was sad, um, something that you were grieving, but you're getting out of there. You know, it's not completely 100%, but at least there is a progress. You're seeing the light, all right? I think that's the best way to describe this, this scenario. You're seeing the light. Once you have acceptance, you will forgive. You're taking out of yourself from a situation where it's sad, where it's gloomy, and you're seeing the light, you know. It's not completely there, but you will soon find the light. So this is the present, all right? This is what's more of the present energy, these two cards. So if someone is about to forgive, someone is ready to go out and see, you know, the sun to be back on her feet, his feet, to be back how he or she was before. Someone is going to go back. So I felt like this is a different energy. All right. So someone is going back because they felt like it's not practical. They, they made a decision. They move on. They could probably leave you, but they're going back. They couldn't get over you. It's not practical to leave you. All right. There's a sense of it could be that they find the re it's not practical to leave you. That's the, that's, that's the energy I'm getting. King of Pentacles in reverse. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, your energy. But it's not practical. For some of you, if this is the combination, it could be the reason why the moon is here is because for some of you, you're hesitant to move on. But you're ready to forgive, but you're hesitant to move on. But if this is an external energy, if this is not you, if this is not this someone who's ready to move on, ready to forgive, finding the light, and then this is an external energy where I feel like this is more of an external energy. External energy in the sense that someone, something, someone wanted to move on, but they couldn't move on. They're going back because they felt like it's the, the decision I made is not practical. It's not practical to commit to that other side. And so I'm back, back. I, I'm going back. Something is not practical. Someone has problem with commitment, but they couldn't move on, all right? This is the present. So take what, you know, what's apply to you guys. Someone is gonna go back or someone couldn't move on because the decision they made is not practical or they're not ready to commit to another someone. So they're going back. It's something to do with not able to move on um, because the thing, the, the confusion about this, they're not ready to move on. They couldn't move on. The reason why they couldn't move on or they couldn't forget someone or they're going back, it's because it was, it was not practical. Because the king of pentacles in reverse is this is having an issue with commitment. Someone is, not, is having an issue with commitment, but they're going back, backwards. They couldn't move on. So it's, 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 it's either this is the continuation of this energy. It's you want to forgive, you're willing to forgive, but the, the moon card describes that you, you couldn't completely, because you're ready to accept, you're ready to forgive, but you couldn't complete it because somehow you still wanted to, to go back to that person, but you know it's not practical. So it could be that, if this is the same person, um, the moon card described here, which is not clear, that someone is like, oh, I'm ready to forgive. I'm ready to take back my life. But the moon card is here to kind of describe your present situation that a part of you still wanted to go back to that person. You still couldn't go back. You still couldn't move on to that person, to that someone. But you know for a fact that if you go back, if you don't, if you go back, if you move back, it's not practical. It's not practical if you go back. You get what I mean? But if this is an extra external energy not connected to this two card, that in, then it means that someone couldn't move on. Someone is going back because what the decision they took to leave someone behind is, is not practical. 
they did a wrong commitment so they're going back all right so that's 50 50 all right but in the beginning in the beginning i really sense that this is more of an external energy external energy that someone someone is going back someone cannot um <clears throat> cannot move on they they want to go back because the decision they made to commit with the decision they made is not practical it's not the it's not the right commitment so they're going back so take what resonates with you and the two cards here is most likely the nearest future or the possible outcome it will depend on your present situation right now um but um the six of um six of pentacles is in reverse this is not having balance and the hangman is here in upright position so this is like hangman the, it seems to be that they're not telling me the result it's like there's no result yet because it's imbalance well you know i would be you know i would i wouldn't be surprised if the six of pentacles card came out along with the hangman, hangman because it's simply saying that you need to sort out your present before you could actually see the outcome you know this is the nearest outcome so best case best case scenario on this reading it's imbalance so for as long as it's imbalance you will not get the outcome because if i was you know if i was predicting it well you know if i was predicting the energy it's the the future if this energy stays this way you know if this energy st stays this way the nearest future is imbalance. So if there is an imbalance in terms of communication or something is not settled, for example, one, the, the settlement, the conclusion is in favor to someone and it's not favor to someone. So that is imbalance. And so it will create a hangman energy where you don't get the finality. You don't get a result because the present is, you know, someone is going back and someone is moving on. You get what I mean? So this person, this external energy, it could be that he's going back because he made the wrong decision, impractical decision on, you know, on the time where this person is about to move on, you know. So this energy, this person, someone is about to go back to someone, to someone that is ready to move on or have stepped out from the darkness or from sadness and, and is about to take back his or her life. And now this person is going to go back. So this combination of energy, you know, describes the six of pentacles imbalance. Because someone is ready to move on and then someone is going to go back where this person is ready to move on. So it creates imbalance and it doesn't actually give the outcome. It results into an, to, to hangman energy. No outcome because someone wants to move back to patch things up because they made, they, you know, they screw it up. And then someone is about to forgive someone or forgive himself or take his life back. And now this is person is coming towards him or her. So it's a bit of an imbalanced energy. So I will leave it with you, Taurus. Whether this could be one person energy or two different person energy. But if it's a one person energy, this someone who is willing to take his life back you know wanted to find you let the sunshine come into his her life again because he is moving on she is moving on forgiving ready to go out there um if this is one and if this is one person energy the moon depicts that there is a struggle you want to move on you want to take back your life you want to forgive you want to take yourself out of sadness and darkness but part of you is struggling because you still want to go back with this person but it's not practical to go back anymore and that's the reason why there is a moon card here this is a single energy but if this two energy someone is going back to someone who is ready to move on that's it okay so that's for you Taurus. thanks for your time thanks for tuning in i'll see you soon again next time for your love romantic bonus reading this is sunshine vibration sunshine tarot vibration channel and my youtube subscribe like and um leave me a um comment if you have anything to say um please make it positive <laughs> thank you guys thanks for your support 
I love you all. Bye-bye.